Nashville attorney Jennifer Eberly has been following Tennessee's abortion law closely the past few months, and she takes issue with one word that keeps coming up, exception. She says Tennessee's abortion law does not have an exception for doctors. We don't interpret laws figuratively. We interpret laws literally, and this law literally states it is a felony to perform an abortion, period, full stop. If you do it to save the life of a woman, you're still committing a felony. You just have a, def a defense to that at trial. And that defense that a doctor would be allowed to use at trial is also named in the bill. Here it is. It's called an affirmative defense. Under the new law, doctors who perform an abortion are committing a Class C felony. No exception. That means a prosecutor can pursue criminal charges. The affirmative defense portion simply gives the doctor an opportunity at trial to defend himself or herself. But keep in mind, that's after being charged with a crime. The misinformation here is that we have an exception. We don't. An exception is something that decriminalizes the act. An affirmative defense states it's a crime, but there's an excuse for it. Um, and I think that's where um, a lot of the misunderstanding lies um, if you know in the public and with our elected officials. President of the anti-abortion group Tennessee Right to Life, Stacy Dunn says that doctors have nothing to fear from this law. We've had an affirmative defense provision in a law since 2017 in our post viability ban and after five years no doctor has ever been prosecuted under that affirmative action uh, affirmative defense provision. That is the protection that the doctors have. Eberly also says the emotional toll on the doctor aside, the law also places on them a large financial burden. I think something that a lot of people aren't thinking about is physicians have liability insurance. Liability insurance almost never covers criminal activity. This is a crime, so the physician will not have insurance coverage for this. Mark Kelly, News 2.